What is this you're out here advocating for or against? Well, it's just to help poor people, help people, people on the bottom, that's all. Just to help people on the bottom. What do you think is uh, keeping people at the bottom, what do you mean by that? Well, people at the bottom, uh, the people that didn't get chances, didn't get a lot of chances, people that life's hard for them, sick people. Uh, we're very affluent, very affluent country. And uh, we need to treat people better, that's all. What do you think uh, we could do to treat people better or to help uh, the poor, the impoverished, as you're saying? Well, you know, just realize we're dealing with people, you know. I'm not, you think I may be a big political guy, but uh, this sign just says it all for me. I mean, it's, it's, it's a, more of a philosophy, you know. It's more of a way of seeing things. Uh, it's not about, I don't know any particular legislation right now. Right now, right now, it's, from what I see in the news, it's not good. It's not good. And we need to really care about the health of people. I mean, uh, we got it. Other countries are doing it. You know, come on. Come on. It's not, this ain't rocket science. Other countries are doing it. Well, they're helping people that are poor. Uh, yeah, we might have to be taxed a little more, but that's how it goes. Do you think uh, taxes hurt the poor? They, you know, in terms of like you have local state permits, uh, all these sort of things and licenses yeah, for yeah. small people yeah. to try to get well, into like, business. Like I was up in Oklahoma, and they passed a uh, a, a tax that's a consumer tax, and 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 that affects the poor. Yeah. That yeah. affects the poor instead of a, a tax that has more of a, an effect on the affluent. And, uh, and it's, it's, it's not going to keep them from eating. It's not going to keep them from getting that second home. It's not going to keep them from having what they, the necessities of life. But we seem to want to make, uh, as a classic example of what do you they think, did. Um, do you think maybe an interesting solution uh, would be to no tax on the poor at all. And it takes it takes uh, it takes a lot of their income already when they take their uh, when they yeah, get their check I, when they I, go home. I don't know. I hadn't thought about that. I, right. I don't. I don't have an opinion on that. I hadn't. I hadn't thought about that. Um, it, it's not an easy decision. It's not an easy. It's not an easy call. Right now, and I will support this. Totally support this. But right now. Um, there's a there's a there's a men's movement, and I'm not talking about the white nationalist all that stuff. But did you know? I think it's over 75, 80 percent of the suicides are men. That's true. Yeah. Uh, we keep doing this dialogue of, of of injustice to women, and it's happened. Don't get me wrong. But we need to be against injustice. Period. Just period whether it's men or women. And yeah, you bring up an interesting point. A lot of people kind of ignore men because they're men, right? That's right. right. They well, say, you know, starts come out there say one third out of homeless people are women, but they don't look, well, two thirds are men. <laughs> I know. Uh, they, who dies in the wars? Men. Men are usually cannon fodder, disposable. You know, uh, when there is a custody suit. Favors women. Favors women. Right. We don't, th this should be a part of this dialogue and I don't know if it is here, but I still support this. You're not going to get everything perfect right. Actually, the way you want it. There's a great uh, documentary out that I really recommend. It's called The Red Pill. Mm -hmm. uh, I watched it I watched it a couple of times, in fact, and I really recommend it to people. Um, is that on Netflix? I think I've heard of this. It's Well, I know. I don't know if it's on Netflix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know it's on uh, Amazon Prime. Red Pill, okay. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but... You know, and it's a woman who's a feminist who uh, makes documentaries, who's really involved in, in, in the making of the, and, and she, she's in the movie. I don't know if I could go as radical as she does at the end. At the end, she says, I can't be a feminist. Good. When I, I think, I, th I think there's a difference between feminist and radical feminist. And uh, that's just my opinion right now, and it's, uh, it's always evolving. Uh, but we need to care about injustice, not just 
women's injustice and not just children's injustice. And they get it. I mean, we we put some people off to the sideline. We 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 kicked them to the curb and said, "You're you're you're not that important right now." I I. There was a men's movement back in the, what was it, the 80s. I was involved in it a little bit. And I saw a, uh, I went on a retreat. There was 100, 100 men there, all over the United States. And the speaker said, we are, we are gonna honor, we honor who's here, you're here, but we have to remember who isn't here. And your dad isn't here, and he may never be here. And there were men who howled like wild animals because there was no women there to judge them. There was nobody there to judge them. They could let their pain out. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of pain in all people. And we need to acknowledge that and, and, and say we care about you. I mean, I heard a young man at that say, I was state champion in, in wrestling for three years in Pittsburgh, in Pennsylvania, so my dad would say, I love you, and he never did. Hmm. That's pain. That's pain. And I think we need to care about all pain, not just, and right now I hear him talk over and over and over about just women's pain. And I, I personally just don't think that's right. I think you make a very good point of that. I too have noticed that for, for a lot. You know, they, they ignore the men's pain. They say, oh, it's this men's issue. Kind of like that documentary you were watching. Uh, they talk about uh, men's privilege, right? They're like, oh, males have privilege. Yeah, the only privilege we have is being sent off to war to die like cattle. Well, they do have privileges in, in, in pay. They do have privileges in things, in, in certain things, because culturally we have. But we need to address that, and we need to address other things too. Yeah, absolutely. You like know. you mentioned, like not just the court system, but like if a, if a father forgets to pay child support, he goes to jail. A woman forgets. They have, they have places that she could go to, you yeah. know, shelters. You and, know? There's, and, and you bring up a good point, and it was in this uh, documentary that, you know, there's, a, there's different sentences for men than there is for women right. for the same offense. Just like there's different offenses for black men as there is for white men. It's all injustice must be talked about and must be a part of the uh, dialogue, the agenda of, of making this a better place for everybody. Right. That's all. Right. I'm glad you, you talked about that. I think that's uh, one concern I haven't have come across anyone I actually kind of bring out and <laughs> talk about men's issues and men's men's uh, rights, you could say, their, their well-being. Like you mentioned, like a lot of suicide rates are men. They take a lot of the heavy workload or difficult jobs out there for sure. But um, when you add in um, not just the suicide rates, but uh, marital problems, uh, you find that uh, Robin Williams was married uh, twice, had to pay out uh, alimony for like uh, $30 million, right? Really? You know, that, that weighs heavy on, on someone's mind, yeah. right? That's, yeah. that's a lot of money that you know that the courts always kind of veer on the side of uh, the, the woman. And it does, and it, and it does, and it, we need to just be for justice, just plain justice, not female justice, not male justice, just justice. That's all. Uh, but that ain't the way humans are. <laughs> that ain't the way humans are. Right. We like black and white. We love our black and white answers. We love right, wrong. But, you know, good, bad. Right. Uh, who are you with? I'm independent. I'm with uh, Liberate. It's a nonpartisan organization. Okay. Uh, so we try to find non-political solutions to our community problems. Okay. We find that government uh, weighs heavy on in everyone's lives, and we're trying to take government away from as much of that as possible. Yeah. And because um, we find that as much as we kind of step here on the steps here of, of Congress, uh, time and time again, that they just can't provide that kind of justice. The Supreme Court right over there, right? So we try to see if we can provide this own justice within our own community, outside of politics, outside of the state, outside of government. Well, the only way you're going to do it is you got to you got to take action. You got to take action. You can't just. <laughs> I do a lot on Facebook. You can't just post on Facebook. You can't just uh, talk about it. Uh, you got to take action of some kind. Some kind. Um, 
because that's the only that's the only way. I like the uh, the retreat that you mentioned earlier that you had with guys going out there and howling at the moon. They uh, weren't howling at the moon. They oh, were howling, howling, howling in pain. pain. Right, right. That's what they I mean. They were in pain. But like some universities here would say that that's uh, toxic masculinity. You hear that word coming around? So, no, I don't know that much about it. Yeah. I so there's know. there's ways that they're, they're demonizing males. I would say there's ways that they kind of put them down and shame them for just being men. Uh, like the Boy Scouts, for example, they're gonna they're dropping out the boys and sending just to scouts, sharing the space with, with females. Not saying there's nothing wrong with with females and their scouts, but you no know, boys need their own space. Boys need to learn how to be boys and learn how to model after other men. Uh, when you include females, you know, sometimes uh, the rules are going to change. They can't act a certain way. Everything changes. Well, when, when you have a, a group of men, and uh, I went to another uh, a retreat. Back when the men mo men's movement was popular, I went to one in San Antonio, and a woman reporter wanted to set in on things, and the men voted. But when you put one woman in there, the dynamics are going to change. All right. Same with women. You have a group of women, and you put a man in there, it's going to change. Right. They need to have their space to be as real as they need to be. Yeah. And to be, uh, to, to, to say what needs to be said for them and, and for the, the people in the group. You yeah. Know? That's just my opinion. Right. Well, thank you so much for sharing your opinion, old yeah, man, man with the sign. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. <laughs>